Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I am your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to be detailing an alternate method of recording the audio for the Mac edition of OBS, rather than using Soundflower. And today we're going to be using the iShowU audio capture device, which is a free audio driver that is created for use with another program that formerly used to require the use of Soundflower themselves. And Soundflower just doesn't work on current versions of Mac OS X because, well, they changed some stuff and the original developer has abandoned it. And this tutorial, the original version of this tutorial, was written up by user Amzyar0, who was also looking for an alternative to Soundflower. So the first thing we need to do actually doesn't involve your OBS window at all. You're gonna go down to the video description and grab the link to this page, which will allow you to download this installer for the iShowU audio capture device. And basically what this is, is the iShowU audio capture is an extension to OS X used by iShowU Studio and iShowU Instant to record audio from your computer. This is new and improved audio driver, which replaces Soundflower and provides a bunch of fancy new features and improvements in order to make recording audio much more stable. So this is not necessarily meant for OBS, but it can be used in place of Soundflower. So just download the installer, install it, and that's all you have to do for that portion of it. The next thing that you have to do is you're gonna have to go down to your applications folder here, and somewhere you'll find your utilities folder. And inside of here, we're going to be using the audio MIDI setup app right here that looks like a funky monkey keyboard and this is what we're going to use to set up the multi-channel device or the multi-output device that is going to allow us to mirror our output coming from our headphones to this new audio driver. So one thing you should make sure is showing up in this little list is make sure that the I show you audio capture device is listed as one of these little audio devices in your big fancy list of features and functions and other squibamojigama things. So as long as that's working, you're gonna go right down here to the plus symbol and you're going to create a multi-output device. And basically, what this device is going to do is it's going to mirror the audio from your headset or your speakers or whatever you have set to your output device to um, however many of these devices that you select. My primary audio device that I use is my Yeti stereo microphone because it has a little audio jack at the base that I use to put my headphones on so it has like a little bit extra range in case I decide to get up from my computer I don't drag my computer with me and then select both the I show you audio capture and your primary device and whatever device that you use to listen to your audio already select drift correction what that is is it prevents any audio distortion from happening in whatever you're listening to for whatever reason that that can sometimes happen and we don't want that to happen to you and set the master device to uh, uh that's weird uh, the little flippers just kind of changed up on you but select the master device for your audio to whatever your default output is it could be your built-in output or in my case i'm using the yeti stereo microphone so the master device that's going to control all of the audio is going to be that. And that is all you need to do in here. Now, the next thing you need to do, I cannot quite mirror or else it will crash my screen recorder, but you're gonna go into your sound settings and go into output and set your output to the multi-audio output device. So just the multi-output device right here, which is labeled as an aggregate device and then just pull back open your OBS, go into your settings, and under audio, you should select the Yeti stereo microphone for your first microphone device, and then for the second microphone device, you're going to select the I show you audio capture. Now, this might sound a little bit counterintuitive, but it's going to use a microphone recording slot rather than the sort of desktop audio device slots in order to record audio because, again, Macs are kind of funny like that, and you have to do some weird wizard business in order to capture your audio. 
And once you do that, you should see the secondary microphone audio device light up with whatever sound is happening on your desktop. Now, I can't properly demo this again because it will basically crash the only device I have to record my desktop right now, but it will work. I've already tested it out, and to show you that it works, you might be hearing an interesting melody in the background. I have Besiege open right here. So that's all you have to do for the I Show You audio capture. If that's being fiddly, let me know and I'll help you troubleshoot that in the comments below. Um, and if you have any other comments or whatever, feel free to leave those down there. Um, but I'm also going to show you guys how to quickly set up OBS so that you have the best settings in order to start recording. So basically, if you want to stream, you put in your stream key and the service that you're using. Uh, whatever it is will provide you with the URL for the server to put in right here. And then... For output, you want to set your video bitrate between 8,000, which is the basic bitrate for YouTube, that's 8,000 kilobits per second, up to uh, about a max of 25,000 kilobits per second. And that's basically 8 megabytes per second, or megabits, not megabytes, my bad, um, or 25 megabits per second, and that's a lot of delicious um, video quality that you want to work with. And then for audio bitrate, set that up to 320. And if you find yourself, like your pal Larry, using an older Mac to record, if you're going to use your Mac, then select the Enable Advanced Encoder settings and set your encoder preset to ultra fast, and that will help you pull a little bit more performance out of an older computer. Uh, for recording, you probably want to set your quality down here to same as stream. If you do stream, set this video bitrate down to 3000. Otherwise, uh, Twitch or other services might get mad at you for abusing their network. They have a very limited upload uh, allowance for people. So keep that to between 3000 to 6500 kilobits per second and they won't get mad at you. Um, otherwise, if you're just recording, leave that the same as stream and then you can record format to pretty much anything on the Mac, but the standard, which is used by most services, including YouTube, is the MP4 standard. For audio, we already kind of went over this. You want the sample rate as high as it'll go. You'll probably want your channels to stereo, otherwise mono is only in one ear. And then set your primary microphone slash auxiliary device to your microphone. And then for the secondary mic, set it to your I show you capture and don't fiddle with any of these other things uh, unless you know what you're looking for here. Then down here for video, my basic recording size is uh, 2560 by 1440 because that's this IMAX uh, basic size, but I downscale it to 1920 by 1080 and I leave it at the medium filtering, which is by cubic so that it looks pretty good but it doesn't slow down my computer. Um, you can record up to 60 for YouTube these days, but the rule with frame rates is if you're not getting 60 FPS in game with whatever frame rate counter you want to use, then don't try to record it because it'll look choppy and weird. Just tone it down to around 30 frames per second. I mean, it's not as cool as the PC Master Race or the Mac Master Race if you have a really souped up Mac but, I mean, it's better than having it look choppy and funky when you upload it to YouTube. So I'll probably set this down to 30 because this Mac is chugging a little bit. And that's basically the settings that you want to use. Now you need to set up a sweet, delicious recording scene so that it will pick up Besieged over here in the corner. So to do that, we're just going to click the little plus sign and we're going to call this Larry's Super Awesome Recording scene, because I'm cool like that. And scenes are selections of different audio devices and objects that you can switch between quickly if you like to record or stream different sets of games and you want to only have to set all that stuff up once. And you, this also includes like your overlays. But I won't really go into overlays, just know that if you want to set up an overlay, that is an image overlay. Um, and you just layer that on top of whatever you are recording. But for what we want to do is we want to capture Besieged over here, which is playing 
windowed so it doesn't mess with my other recorder. I'm using ScreenFlow right here to record everything else. We're going to click the plus sign and we're going to go down to Game Capture, which in parentheses, it says Siphon. And we're going to select that. Now, if you have an older computer like I do, it may lag for a moment. Don't worry, OBS isn't crashing or freaking out. It's just the game capture button sometimes has an opinion because it has to set up some weird siphon server business in the background of your computer. And well, I don't know if you notice right now, but I've got like uh, Photoshop open, uh, Adobe CC or Audition CC, uh, Illustrator, Muse, Premiere. I got a bunch of crap open and that is slowing my computer down a little bit while I record on it. Not bad, uh, it's actually performing pretty admirably, but it can lag just a smidgen. Okay, there we are. Now it has popped open my, whoops, and I lost my besiege here. But yeah, there we go. It has popped up my sort of game capture settings here. I'm going to label this game capture as besiege because well, that's what it is that we're recording. So I'm gonna create a new one and I will make the source visible. Don't set up 50 of them. All right, so you notice there is a problem. So we have to double click on this and we want to select from source Besiege, but unfortunately, just the way that games work on the Mac, they create what is called a siphon server. And it's a it's this the game framework that everything runs on here on the Mac, or at least that's my understanding. But if whatever you have here um, isn't showing up on the source list, don't freak out, don't worry about it. Just click on this button that says Launch Siphon Inject. So what this little tool is, and I actually have to close my previous um, version of it. What this tool is, is it's going to inject a piece of code made by OBS, uh, I think actually an open source piece of code, into the program that you want to record and try to steal the video from it or steal a copy. So what you do is you find your program somewhere here in the list, and this is like a Unity game. So Unity games usually uh, handle pretty well on Mac. In general, Unity does a wonderful job. So you just select whatever and you select in, or you don't select, you click inject, and then you close the window and it should show up on this little listy list. Unfortunately, every time you open games like this, you may have to reset this object up because they will want to reset on you. So once you've got that open, drag or just click on it. You know, it'll it'll pop up red and you want to drag this little box so that it fills up the screen. If this is playing at full screen, it should just automatically fill up the black box. But if, but if you're in like me and you're playing it windowed for whatever reason, you might have to scale it manually yourself. And at this point, your game audio should be showing up in this little bar down here for the secondary mic slash auxiliary device. Again, I can't really show that to you guys, unfortunately, because my secondary recorder will literally flip out and explode. Kind of awkward, I know, but that's life. Um, I have started to record this and it does work out pretty well. And I actually have those samples right here for you to look at. So I will actually close Besiege so that we're not hearing like two instances of it. So here we go. Here is my most recent recording of Besiege, but let's actually look at this one. All right, howdy doody. Hello, everybody. This is Besiege. You can hear the music in the back. And I made some weird noises for whatever reason, because I do that. Now, one of the things that I did notice about this was that I was getting a little bit of low frame rate in this game, which is why I set it to ultra fast for the subsequent okay. version of this. And it's still kind of having a little bit of a laggy frame rate. If you're trying this out in windowed mode, uh, do note that games on Mac perform much poorer in windowed mode. So try to keep them in full screen if at all possible, and they should record and stream just fine. And uh, that's really it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. We used the I Show You audio capture device in order to record audio for OBS on the Mac. If you have any questions or any of this was confusing, let me know in the comments below. And I will also link you to the original tutorial that is written up by 
MCR Zero. I'm, I have it on a sticky note. It has its own sticky note, MCR, just so you know. Um, my only note in the original tutorial is that do not set your output device to the I show you audio capture. Instead, set it to the multi output device. You should be able to hear whatever the gameplay is. The sounds should be coming to your headset. If they are not, switch between the multi output and the I show you. For whatever reason, it really depends on your Mac installation, but most of the time, it should, you should be selecting the multi-output device. So, yeah, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or whatever you want to put in the description. Don't forget to like, or dislike, or subscribe, and I will catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles, everybody!